The I-Team has learned that a unique early warning system is tracking the path of COVID-19 and specifically the Delta variant. The scientist behind the project tells our PJ Randawa about the destructive path it's taking and where it's headed next. PJ. Mike, the state of Missouri is still considered one of the focal points for the Delta variant. We wanted to know the path it took to spread so quickly. To track coronavirus, some researchers are going to the gutters. It doesn't matter if you've been vaccinated. It doesn't matter whether you have health insurance. It doesn't matter whether you believe in COVID. If you use the toilet, we're sampling you. Virologist Mark Johnson uses sewer shed testing to track COVID variants like Delta. When the strain first landed in Missouri on May 8th, he and his team tested sewer water to see where and how quickly Delta was moving through community. <laughs> You can't get COVID through wastewater, but it does leave a trail. One that scientists can see before people start going to the hospital. That method shows just how fast the Delta variant moved across Missouri. It's weird that it was sort of like it was just scattershot across the state. The I-team has learned tracking previous variants has been easy. Just follow the interstates. Delta is different, starting in Branson and exploding everywhere soon after. By June 14th, it was in St. Louis. And by the third week, it had already sort of made it all over the place. Just a day later, the state of Illinois reported its first case of the Delta variant. While other variants have died out, Johnson says we still haven't flattened the Delta curve. It started in Missouri at the beginning of May and we haven't we haven't crested yet. That's three months. So where is it headed now? Johnson says his research shows Delta will move quickly across Illinois and could be around for months to come. Sometimes it's more drawn out, but the end effect is usually the same, which is about two to four percent of the population gets infected. And it doesn't seem to matter what the vaccine rate is. The state of Illinois says it collects positive COVID tests to identify which variants are spreading. It too says Delta is the most common strain of COVID in the state. For the I-Team, PJ Randawa, five on your side. A team